right on, right on, right on. So I'm ready to publish week 11. Probably for me, <laughs> the biggest work week I've had so far in this class, which has been amazing, honestly. It's been really, um, okay, it's been hard, I'm not gonna lie, because coding sometimes is hard. So this week, uh, we're gonna venture into a very different way of coding called object-oriented programming and we're going to end up creating a class for our carbon fo our footprint I call it FP um, and then uh, and I'll walk we'll actually through our code alongs this week we'll go through that process of creating that you'll have a, several challenges through that uh, but at the end of it we will have implemented the class and so what you will then do for the challenge this week is you will um, add, attempt to start the process of adding uh, a new item, new input for the carbon footprint, evaluate food choices. Probably one of my favorites. <sighs> Why? Well, we're in the food business. Uh, our family has a, owns a food uh, plant-based business, but you know, I also don't judge people for their food choices because I don't. It's not my job. All I know is what I eat, but you know, again, that's not even part of this class as I was doing it, though I did notice some things about myself that was interesting that if you ever want to know about, come chat with me. But anyway, that's what you will do for week 11 code challenge discussion is that, okay? And then step three to our decision app, this is form and functions. So I've created a video for that, but here's conceptually what you can know about that, uh, about step three. And, and I realized this and I've updated the content for step one. So by the time you get here, you've probably already seen it. But in general, unless it's some issue you had that wasn't directly related to the code, like in week one, you didn't get all the documentation, that's up to you if you want to fix that. But you do need to have correct code each week. So if you, if you submit and I give you feedback and your code is a broken, right? Mm. Uh, you need to fix that before you move on to the next step. So just know that that's the case, but especially, and we're already at week three, uh, step three, for this so by now you will see that you definitely you got to have any issues with step one done and then those will show up again in step two so if you haven't gotten them done it hurts your grade again so just don't put yourself in that situation okay reach out for help but step three was it's good in the sense that I have you go ahead and set up your form but you don't have to connect it to your functions but you do, and then there's two steps, so I should say them in the right order. First, you um, may have your inputs and your calculated fields be in an object that is then in an array, just like we've been doing before now, so an array of objects. And you can decide whether you want to output that on the page or to the console. I show you on my example how I did it. You can choose either or. I'm giving you choices about the way you want to do that as long as I see that in your output that you have that. And in order to output that array of objects, you need to have run your function with many times uh, with different inputs. And, and actually that's something we did last week, but I would add a few more this week. And then what you want to have is your form is just to make sure that you're getting the correct output from your form, right? And so of course next week, step four, we'll connect all that up together and start setting up the render process. Okay, so the last item this week, and this is one I know I've been talking about and some people have been just, you know, like don't, don't you know, have like, what does it look like? And when it starts this week, now here's the deal you work through all these items and then you get to the code review session information I and it's a sign up it's basically starting a conversation between you and I about how we schedule this and how I navigate scheduling everyone it's 30 minute sessions um, I thought maybe I could give you the video that just goes over that just to eliminate you know some of the you know questions that might come up which is fine I, I, can, I don't mind doing that but just know in order for you to even start the schedule you need to have been current with the uh, weekly work and completed step three right and it will cover everything up to this point in the course if you're scheduling 
starting at this point, okay? Which I suspect most of you are. And matter of fact, for those of you that have more skill, right? You could wait, but you don't have to. I'm not gonna tell you to, right? Because, you know, the more time that goes on, the more things we cover. But again, you know, the, I just, I really have worked on this process of scheduling these code reviews with students. And I used to have more of them. There used to be three per semester, and now there's only one. And I listed some common questions that I that I think might be related to this, but you could ask more. This would be a great time to do it. So here's my point. And it's not, it, it is only, it's required only to view. You don't have to start scheduling in order to move on with the course. You can keep going, right, if you get to that point. Because I also talk about, is it optional? And I don't consider it optional, but it's worth 20% of your grade. Again, I'm kind of going over a duplicate here, but it's an important week. Anyway, I had really fun this week coding up that class for the carbon footprint and then adding the food choice into the inputs. It was, it, in this, I say this when we're doing this work, and this will be the last thing I say for this one, is that, you know, you really get the benefit of all this infrastructure work we've done when we get to the coding challenge for week 11, because now that we have that working, all right, hopefully you have working code at that point, you know, then adding it, I'm not saying it's easy, but it, it may not be as hard as you think it is because part of it is too is testing how well you understand the code base that we're working on. Okay, enough from me. I'll publish this and then I will, I don't know, I'm going to take a break <laughs> for a couple of days because I'm tired of looking at screens. And actually at this point in the real world, uh, I have my nine week classes, two of them ending and one starting. So it's a, also a, kind of a busy week in that sense as well. But it's all fun stuff. I, I'm, I, God, I, I love my job. I'm blessed to have it. So I'll talk to you soon.